Yo, yo, what is up, gamers? Um, coming back at you with a, a little more Dank Souls too. I know, I really just said that. Kill me too. Uh, we left off with beating our second great one, which is the Old Iron King, and uh, next, I want to go to our third, which will be Big Spider, Dear Archduke's Freya. If anyone knows it, and you know, if you know, you know. If you don't, you're about to. Um, but... Yeah, before we get into today's regularly scheduled program, oh my goodness, I am so risk of rain pilled right now. I've been playing so much risk of rain two again, um, just in lieu of uh, the first game getting a wild remake. Oh, I'm so excited for it! As of today's recording, it will release in about a day and a half, uh, and I, oh God, I can't, I can't tell you. I'm so excited for it. I was like gushing so hard to my friend because I was like, so many things are changing for the better it looks like, and I can't be anything but extremely excited. <sighs> but anyways, you know, back to the main topic at hand. So this is the start of the route, which is really weird because you have to unpetrify a person to use this lever. Which by the way, this room, this is a death trap. You pull the lever, the door closes behind you and it's meant to open the door over there. Uh, and luckily you can actually kind of prepare yourself for the death trap by just killing some of the enemies beforehand. I just realized I don't have the uh, script on. I know me using a script to make my life easier may seem a little uh, lame, but you know what, man? As someone who's done this before, I think it's totally within my right. So let me turn that on real quick. <clears throat> All right. Uh, things should be working as intended now, but we'll see in a second. Let me just have that guy hit me, and then, yep, cool. Things are working just as intended. So it's nice that you can do what I just did, and that gets rid of two of the, like, six enemies. Yeah, there's still, like, another four. So, yeah, all those doors open. They all come running out. And now you have a wonderful time. Oh my god, I got a two for Okay, never mind, yeah. But it's gonna be a lot easier than I thought. Oh, and I windboxed that one somehow. Yeah, and to make it even better, if the if you don't kill them by the time the door opens, a basilisk just comes out to ruin your day. Man, they suck. Not a, not a very big deal though when you just like one shot all them. But what's nice is if you um if you do like end up just living for a while without killing anything, you can just sprint into here and light the bonfire at the very least. Um, and then yeah, you all of that ends up opening this door as well, and that's how you continue on the path. Yippee! Thumbs up. Uh, this next spot's a little interesting. Uh, definitely, I think, as a new player, like, is a very big place that'll catch you off guard. I mean, it definitely caught me off guard. This place makes no sense. Um, and to make it not a hellscape makes even less sense. But, you know, the game be a game, I guess. Uh, where, where is So, if you look here. Come on, where? Let me just do this. This is going to be a lot easier if I, uh, here we go. So there's these trees with faces on them. You hit them and they moan. Um, when they moan, you can barely see them. There's a, there's a guy here and it makes this guy like attack it. But that's not the important part. If you don't know about the trees, these like invisible dudes will just attack you and you cannot lock onto them. So you just have to free, uh, you have to unlock attack them, which with a normal weapon, probably not a big deal. With a shield? Kind of a nightmare. Yeah, here's another one. I think there's a tree for like every enemy, which is nice. And a, the uh, Chlorinthy Ring plus one is also here, which kind of sucks. Because this place is really annoying to traverse since, you know, you have enemies that you cannot target. You can hit them, but you just can't target them. So it makes it a little harder to keep track of them. Especially because they're like, they basically blend in with the environment, which, oh god, it sucks so much. I don't know. I really don't like that area if that wasn't obvious. But... Yeah, they're also here too, a lot more clear to see. Uh, and what's interesting is to actually make them targetable and not like transparent, you have to kill the final boss. Why? <laughs> like, <laughs> what's the point? <laughs> I, I just don't get it. So yeah, now you know, if you were ever confused about these guys, you just need to kill the final boss. Fun fact. Oh yeah, and they can also backstab you. So that's pretty cool. Oh my god. I'm pretty impressed with myself. I don't know how I pulled that one off. 
I just really wanted to get to this chest so I killed him because it has um, upgrade materials. Specifically the Petrified Dragon Bone. I don't know if I'll need that, but it's it's a rare upgrade material. That was really pathetic. Please don't laugh at me in the comments. Uh, it's a it's a rare upgrade material, so it's just good to have. Um, but yeah, this is kind of a nothing burger area. If you're a mage, this chest right here is important to you, which you need a fragrant branch to get to. Uh, it gives you a set of gear that increase your cast speed when you equip each piece. Like each piece individually gives you more cast speed, except the headpiece. Um, for some reason, the NPC dude from the Lost Bastille, who gives you uh, who trades boss souls, is the one you need to talk to for uh, mage stuff, or the mage headpiece. You have to spend a certain amount of souls and you can get it. This fight I just realized is gonna suck balls because I can't guard magic, so this is actually gonna be really scary. I probably should have looked into investing into like a magic shield of some sort. Um, that was really bad. <sighs> yeah, ouch. Uh, there's also a kind of, I shouldn't say gimmick, but um, like thing to this boss that I'll show when the time comes, which involves this uh, stone platform here. I think the boss is like guaranteed to do the uh, the attack in question, so I, I should be able to show that off to you. I'm trying to remember if there's any other like gimmicks about this boss I could talk about or like tell people about. I don't think so. Um, the only real like threat of this boss is I'd say the magic for the most part. As you can see, it hurt like physical attacks. It's not like they're non-threatening. They they do hurt a lot, but I think magic, at least to me, is kind of the scarier part of this fight. I really wanted to go underground, because that's where the gimmick I'm talking about uh, comes into play. Oh, is she doing it? Nope. Okay, that hit her. That's good. That is a really good opening for me, by the way. She is, like, stuck there so long. Uh, I think I need, like, two more hits. Oh, my timer finished. That is bad. I'll do that in a moment here. I can't attack her, because she hits me. Oh, there we go. So, yeah, when she goes underground... Um, I don't feel like it, you'll probably ever notice this, at least I did, but, uh, like she will just pop up at you anywhere in the arena, but I, I never really thought to stand on, you know, the stone platform that isn't sand. If you stand here, she can't pop up on you and you're completely safe. So if you're having trouble with that attack, that's just something to keep in mind. And dead. Also, in case you're uh, wondering, the item up there is just a flame butterfly, which is used to light your torch without needing a bonfire so you know don't don't stress ever getting that item either it, it's it's not really worth your time <laughs> to get that item you need her to dig underground and then break that tree down it's not worth your time okay i'm just telling you right now it's not worth your time i don't think she can melee attack it but i don't know if there's another way to make her break it that isn't her digging underground just i guess use that method instead um, and I, I mean, I guess another thing, there's a bonfire right here. I, I I don't really need to like talk about it because, you know, you see me walking to it, you know. But I feel like this is a bonfire that people could probably miss fairly easily. I mean, like, there's a little crevice uh, behind a giant enemy. It's not a very inviting location, you know, so I could see that being a pretty missable thing. So I hope you know where that bonfire is now if you didn't before. Uh, most of this area, though, is kind of depressing. You can kind of just, like, s skip the whole thing. Gavlan wheel? Gavlan deal. <laughs> Wait, he didn't say it. Oh, cool. He gave me a great axe for dealing with him. Uh, I dealt with him, all right. <laughs> That's a lot. Uh, I'm just going to buy, like, 100. Yeah, sure. Uh, it's a surprise tool we'll use for later. This is where the magic happens. Quite literally, actually. Um, <laughs> if you're a uh, if you're a mage build, let me see if I can get a better view of it. The broken down building over there, you can't see it too well. I'll try and like maybe zoom in and editing or something, but we'll see if I actually remember to do that. But there's a mimic in there. Spoiler alert: there's a mimic in there, and that mimic drops the staff of wisdom, which spoiler alert is literally the best mage staff, bar none. And it has a uh, 50 int requirement. The gatekeeper. 
Their name is spelled in a way that looks like an NPC, but I don't think that's an NPC. I've never seen that invader before. Who is this? I'm very intrigued all of a sudden. Um, but yeah, uh, anyways, as I was saying. Oh, hey, it is, it is a player. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh god, he's using a katana. I can't believe this. What's up, bud? <laughs> yeah, you're gonna need to be pumped for this guy. I'm just gonna approach him menacingly. <laughs> oh my god, he has so much health. Oh, that's cute. He probably like shat his pants there. Ooh, got the read on him there. <laughs> this guy, I am this guy's worst nightmare. <laughs> oh my god. I am, I am this guy's <laughs> worst nightmare ever. Oh my gosh. Oh, that hit me. No. Oh, oh we're living. Oh no, I had to block it. Ah, uh, I shouldn't. I should have done the heavy swing instead of the light swing, because the light one's faster than the heavy. I think the heavy one has more like hitbox frames too. Wish I could buy torches though. I feel like I should look that up. I don't actually know if you can. How much torch do I have? 15 minutes. <sighs> Oof, that's not good. Uh, it looks like we're gonna have to. Oh god damn it. Um, so yeah, this is where you end up seeing me pretty much sprint through this area. And uh, luckily I have enough strength to one hand this, very good thing. Because I need to do some of this. I don't actually know if I can jumping attack with this. One handed. Uh, let me see, oh, that's not Titanite? What? So I need to get over to that ledge I just remembered for uh, the Zibonfaya. But, you know, I'm actually just going to ignore that. I, I'm just not in the mood right now. There's an Estus Shard I can get. Uh, I'm skipping that for now. I'll probably come back for it after the boss. Depending on how things go, but I'll probably come back for it after the boss. Come back here, you bitch. Come here. Good, stay there. Thank you. Is this the one with Twinkling? Oh, this is the one with Twinkling. Yeah, that's good. I need that. Yeah, that guy kind of drops down. He's a bit of a, a bit of a freak. And by a freak, I mean, like, actually, kind of a scary enemy if you don't respect it. Because, um, it'll do an attack where just, like, multi-hits over and over again. You're like, oh, thanks. Um, but the torch, the reason for the torch, uh, spiders will not attack you if you have a torch out. So, you just torch up and you're safe. You're chilling. Uh, I'm just gonna hit that enemy, because they're in my way. Yep, that's what I mean. It, they do a three attack combo, it's kind of scary. I'm not sure I can actually jumping attack if I um, am one handing this, so I'm going to have to live without that for a little bit. That's fine though, it's not a big deal. Let me just try one more time, see if I can actually pull it off or not. Okay, I think that would have been like on timing, so it's not really the end of the world. I still have an attack, and more than that, I can actually like defend against the spider onslaught, which I'd argue is more frightening because the boss starts with, uh, I believe, six spiders. And um, if you don't have a torch, you have to kill all them. And then after a certain amount of time, it'll respawn those same spiders. So it's like, you're just better off having a torch and um, ignoring the threat altogether, in my opinion. Because, yeah, the spiders are so annoying, dude. But yeah, welcome to, like, the most weird freaking boss cuts you never know, where they crawl into a dead dragon's mouth and then a giant like spider queen comes down or something interesting trivia by the way a new game plus uh this boss actually will attack earlier and whatever damage you do to it up to i think uh how much percent i forget how much percent it it's a certain amount of damage 
up to like 20%. Or is it 20? I think it's like 25% of its health you can do before you actually fight the boss, which is really cool to me. That you get like an early head start. Wow, uh, I can actually guard that. That's really impressive. It breaks my guard though. That really sucks. Yeah, let's just make it do that. Because it's got two heads, by the way, so. Best strat is like alternate sides, frankly. So yeah, just like make it do that. And then just hit it on the other side. Also, fun fact, if you don't do enough damage, you can actually like, or like if your damage is enough, you can like pop the heads off. And um, I don't, I don't know. I think that's just really funny that you can actually just pop the heads off. I don't think that was a good opening. Okay, nice. Let me hit that. <clears throat> yeah, and you can kick the head around like a soccer ball if you knock it off, which is also really funny. Okay, uh, is that double? No, it's not. Uh, this is probably a bad idea. Oh. We take those. Oh, we huge take those. Oh, and that didn't hit. God. Yeah, the boss does that sometimes too. Where you like swear it should hit, and then it doesn't. Uh oh. I was pressing the guard button, it wasn't guarding. It's really weird. Oh yeah, that's also a really annoying thing. The boss, when it like moves, it'll like stagger you, sort of. Also, if you make distance to the boss, it does that laser attack. Which is, as you might guess, a magnificent opening. Or just hitting it on the head. Oh, and this is... It, it has like a freak out attack. And that's what that was. It's doing it again, actually. Wow, that just like broke my guard! Holy moly! Just laser me again, please. Oh. Laser? Laser, please? Nope. Okay, I'm just gonna... Go for it. Okay, and there you go. That's that's the Duke's dear Freya. <sighs> nice. And now I have plenty of souls for leveling up. And look at that. In um <laughs> 20 minutes, I beat the great one for this area. And also almost break my shield in the process. That is really scary. Oh my god, just holding the shield one hand though, like makes me want to have two shields so badly. It just looks so badass. Also, this is the guy who made that hideous thing. Um, so he's dead now, thank goodness. And uh, I guess this actually totally works out because I have the bonfire for the last great one, so I can just do a twofer. So yeah, I'll return to Majula now, beat the final one, the final great one, and uh, I guess I'll just call it there. It's just, do I want to go over there right now? I don't know. I feel like I will just say that for next time. Uh, it's a it's a dilemma. It's a dilemma. Okay, that's whatever. I'm just gonna cure it. Just use this. That's just a and that's just a uh, NPC invader. It's whatever. But yeah, here's two great ones. I guess uh, not really what I expected, but I kind of forgot that I already had this open. That's why I was like, wow, light work. Thank you, me, for grabbing the Great Shield early on and making my life easier, in a sense. I don't really get what's up with this guy. As you can see, he is an amalgamation of his corpses. But for some reason, he's so, like, bent on perfection. I, I don't really understand the, uh, the connection to be made with that. But, you know, I'm not, I'm not the people who design the game. That's, that's up to them to, like, tell us. Trivia about this boss, because I can give you trivia for, like, any boss. Um... You can actually cut its arms off if you have a slashing weapon and you do enough damage to the arms. I think you have to have a slashing weapon though. I don't think it's just damage based. I think it's damage plus correct damage type. Ooh, he does not take a lot of damage. We are we are gonna be here for the long run. Oh god. You actual just bile monster. Please stay away from me. Hey, what are you gonna do? What are you? Okay. Yeah, me no likey. Don't do that again. It hurt a lot, and it led to my death last time. Yeah, that's, I'm gonna, I, I think I just need to be really mindful of the uh, fire puddles, for the most part. Because, yeah, those those fire puddles are, oof, gross. Eh, 
you know, I'm doing pretty good so far. But that's so far. I, I do have a general idea of like what to expect from him, like that stuff. It looks like as long as I keep my distance, he'll kind of chill out. I, I, I don't like do anything until he goes first. I need him to take his turn first. Oh my god, you can go under that. That's crazy. Okay, that's a thrust forward. You know, honestly, not not bad so far. I'm I'm doing I'm doing pretty good here. I just need to keep that up though. Uh, I think that's gonna hurt a lot. If I got hit by it, that is. Let's go, dude. One, two. Uh, this is gonna be hard. Yep. Oof, I didn't break my guard. It's impressive. Come on, come on. Yeah, yeah. Nice try, Bucko. Ooh, yeah. Try that. Try that. Try it again. Try it again. You gonna grab me? No. Yeah, that's huge. Oh, ooh, we both missed. Yikes. Oh, that one. Okay, nice. Uh, for some reason, that did like no damage. I guess uh, I can block dark damage pretty well. I didn't know that. That very well could have grabbed me. That was really scary. I think I actually just iframe that. Okay, well he's dead. Oh my god. He can't keep getting away with this. Yeah, don't mind me just like being sweaty enough to switch my armor piece. It's I mean, you could call it sweat, you could call it I just like having levels. I, I personally will call it I just like having levels, but you know. You do you man. That wasn't too bad though. That went a lot better than I thought it would. Uh, the like initial damage numbers I was seeing compared to his health size, I was really frightened, but that actually wasn't too bad at all. Alright, it's all Dia time. So when you light all four bonfires, you have Scholar the first in, or the DLC, like whatever. Uh, all Dia will come speak to you. Uh, whatever you say to all Dia does not matter. He'll ask you questions and you just say yes or no, and your, your answer changes nothing, unfortunately. But maybe that's a good thing. I don't know. Um, you know, do I want to let him talk? Nah, I'm not going to let him cook. Uh, I don't really know Aldia's lore too much. I just know he's like a funny man who talked to you. If you want to know Aldia lore, I recommend look it up. I know I've seen a video or two about it, and I, I still have no idea like what Aldia is or what his purpose is. But you know, he he talks to you. He exists. He's a, he's yeah person, I guess. Uh, if you do at the, before the final boss, if you've spoken to him all three times, uh, you've killed Vendrick, and you are yeah, and you've killed Vendrick, then and then beat the final boss, then you can fight him as like the final final boss. But like, you know, as you probably noticed just now from what I said, it's kind of a hassle. Like that, that is like such a hassle. So yeah, I I'm not gonna probably do that personally. I, I never really like doing it. It's just really annoying having trying to do that. I'm so conflicted. It's like I just don't know how I wanna do this. No, no, I'll stop here. And then yeah, we'll just we'll do the whole kind of like starting up to the next which is like mid to end game area. And then I'll probably blow through all that in the next episode and we can go from there. Uh, but yeah, this, uh, this is pretty quick. I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with that. It's, uh, it's, it's doing good. I think I do want to try and upgrade the shield. So I'll probably do a few things in Celador that I didn't do off camera. But um, yeah, it's been fun. And uh, in other news, I am very excited for Risk of Rain, or Risk of Rain Returns. And for anyone who plays that game that's watching, I hope you are too. That game looks gas. Uh, but yeah, that's totally unrelated. Um, that'll be it for now. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, yeah, I'll uh, catch you in the next one. Peace out.